Hello, you're watching a brief demonstration of RF Smart for NetSuite. What you are seeing is a live mirroring of RF Smart on a Zebra TC75 device. RF Smart can be used on a wide variety of modern devices. Firstly, before I select my transaction, you can see from the main menu here that there are two main types of counts within RF Smart. There's the standard stock count and there's the stock count directed. The stock count is used when the operator is not to be guided through what to count, but instead is counting a particular area or a particular item in the warehouse, and they want that to be unguided. Today, we're going to be looking at stock count directed. Stock count directed is used to have the operator be directed through a series of counts that have been previously created in NetSuite using the RF Smart counting module for NetSuite. From this screen, I can enter a count number, I could scan a count number off some paperwork, or I can hit load stock counts and then select the count that I am counting. Once I'm inside a directed count, it's going to show me a bin sorted list of all the products that I'm expected to count, and then I can choose to go through that list and count these products. The first thing I need to do is scan the item, and then because the item is in multiple bins, I need to confirm the bin that I'm counting. So the first thing I'll do is scan the item. And then because this item's in a single bin, it's going to default the bin for me and ask me to enter a quantity that I'm counting. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And now I'm going to be presented with my list again. And you can see that the product that I've counted is moved to the end of the list and turned green. Uncounted products are red, counted products are green. If I go ahead and scan the second product on the count, the two-seater sofa, because this product's in multiple bins, it's going to ask me to confirm the bin that I'm counting. So I'm going to scan that now and then enter my count. Once again, because the product's in multiple bins, I'm going to get a list indicating you've counted that bin. Did you want to count the other bin now? Or did you want to go back and continue the count? I'm going to go back and continue the count, scanning the product, once again, confirming the bin, and then entering a quantity to count. Each time I enter a quantity to count, it's recorded against the stock count in NetSuite. I'm not updating the item balance in NetSuite. That needs to be done from an approval application where a memo field will be captured to indicate why that particular update is being approved. So this application is strictly for recording a count of what I've found. From that other application, recounts can also be created. I'm going to stop here and thank you for watching.